Well, the, the freeway was certainly part of it. Um, the, the freeway was uh, just been being tacitly approved by a very weak council. We, we had a very weak council at that time. And generally, the people that were running the city were the civil servants, particularly Gerald Sutton Brown, who was a very powerful civil servant. He was one of supposedly two equals uh, called the Board of Administration, but he was more equal than the other equal, <laughs> Lorne Ryan, who was a very nice person. And Gerald Sutton Brown was a very competent person, and no question about competent and, and very honest person. But his uh, uh, views were uh, very different from my views and Walter's views and the views of a whole lot of people about uh, the direction of the city. And that's why I actually... Well, I'm jumping ahead now, but that's why when I got elected mayor and Walter uh, an alderman for the third time, and we had eight out of ten aldermen on the council, and therefore we were in a position to carry out the things we would campaigned on, the first thing I did before we actually uh, took office officially uh, was ask for his resignation. Because um, And he was quite hurt by that because uh, he is a traditional British... Um, uh, public servant, and rightly he felt that uh, he could serve any points of view. Um, but the trouble was that we didn't think he really could, you know, because his heart wouldn't be in it. And he'd be trying to bend it back to uh, the way he wanted it. And um, he was very skilled at doing it. Walter and I worked for four years as, as aldermen, and watched the way a lot of policies were brought into the city um, in incrementally and very uh, intelligently by the Board of Administration and Sutton Brown. And uh, they were usually things like a freeway, um, the, uh, from the, cap the um, Georgia Viaduct, two branches there going across, uh, was built with a freeway in mind. Property was bought for a turnaround at the other end of the two streets that go east-west from the viaduct um, on Ca at Cassiar Street, way right through the east end, and uh, property was purchased for a big turnaround uh, there for, f for the freeway, because there is a freeway there on Cassiar Street. And that was the connector, and it was going to come through. But all of the little steps that led up to that property being owned and the, the uh, viaduct being designed were little incremental things. And Walter and I got quite good at being playing detective and, you know, trying to see where certain steps led. Uh, playing chess, I get a few moves ahead. What is this? What does this really mean? And uh, uh, the, uh, but that's what first got me uh, involved was, I guess, partly the freeway, be, be, uh, but other things too about the uh, city and about the livability of the city um, and the use of property. I was very excited about the idea of turning um, uh, False Creek into residences and schools and parks and things like that. And we were initially talking at that time about the south side of False Creek, but the uh, exactly same things uh, apply to the north side. And I learned a lot from Walter about that uh, in 1968 when all this kind of fermentation was uh, starting up, uh, fermentation about the freeway, uh, but also the, the notion of False Creek was tossed about at that time. and. And most traditionalists uh, dumped all over it and uh, said, you know, you, you could never do that. It's an airy, fairy idea. But um, actually, it was very funny that they didn't see the obvious uh, sort of economic benefit to taking property that was very low-valued and using it for much higher values. I mean, that was property that was owned by the, the city. Um, so, uh, and it was obviously much more desirable but financially, it was obviously the right thing to do, too. So far from being a airy-fairy idea, it was, in fact, a very practical idea financially. 
and it, it paid off uh, very largely for uh, in dollars as well as uh, in uh, oh, uh, uh, in reinforcing the idea of making a city livable and a place that you want to live in, not get out of.